Hey everybody, Steven here playing Subnautica Below Zero. Today we're going to cover some new stuff that the dev team added the last couple days here. I'm going to do a separate video covering the story stuff. I don't want to do that for this. That one will have a bunch of sp spoilers in it, but um, this one, the intro, the field of view has changed. So that's one of the big things. And then the inside of the ship, it has uh, the drop ship, it has a flame going on now where it's not just the electrical uh, visual effect. It's actually on fire on the inside now. So we'll check out those two things and then a couple other things with this after we kind of let the intro here ride out. I do like the change of the field of view though. It makes it seem a little bit more, I don't know if intimate's the word, but like intense because we're so close to the action now versus kind of pulled back. Alright, here we go. And it may be not that, maybe they move the planets up. That's what it is, they move the planets. There we go. So still missing a lot of things, but... Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperature is up. Life pod deployed. All right, so flame should pop up. There it is. <clears throat> then we got one by the door. She's just walking through it. <laughs> I've covered this, I believe, in another video. Um, but they did add the trench here where... As we crash land, it'll make more sense that, yeah, we kind of push the earth around there. We'll just have to see the visual um, effect of the snow kind of popping up as you crash land, and then the leftover of that. Hopefully that gets put in soon. They also have the audio for the explosion that we're waiting on from this thing. There it is. All right, so let's go into free cam mode here. Let's take off the water volume and the weather. Okay. So a big thing that they've done is they've actually worked on blending out the kind of end of the map here, or the edge of the map. They had already done work with this previously, but they've come back through and specifically worked on this again. Still not finished, but... This has all been tweaked. And we have that kind of classic drop off with the edge of the map here that we see with the first game. And how I know it's not done is we'll see certain areas where it has just a sharp edge, like they started blending it and they're going to take it down a little bit more and just kind of stopped there. But. They've actually pulled it in quite a bit, too, by the way. This used to go a lot further out. <clears throat> so all this has been tweaked and adjusted. This is the stuff that I'm talking about here, though. Just kind of leftover remnants of them working on it, but it not being the final product. And same thing right here. But I think what they're going to do is just take all that out and make it look kind of like this is just one continuous plateau right there so this stuff has been in game it's just that blending of it to this edge and they've pulled that in a little bit but yeah we officially have that complete drop off here we'll come over here to the tree spire biome same thing here And then it just goes flat. Still don't know what they're going to do this way. Because then it goes to all this. But it's blended up to this point. And then, yeah, I have no idea what this is all going to be. We still have this stuff. <laughs> Although this has gotten smaller. 
So we have that right now. And there's another area they had worked on, but they just kind of stopped it. Let's see if it pops up right here. Right here, yeah. So they're kind of blending this down right now. And like I said, this is usually where you can see they worked up to a point and then they just stopped. I don't know if that's a time thing or they need to figure out what they're going to do with it and then come back. So we have that. And then let's go into the glacial basin here. We'll find some of the cave systems with the snow stalkers. And this is a small addition, but I thought it was pretty cool. And it's right here. We got a bunch of bones everywhere now. What these are bones of, I don't know. I don't know if it's... Looks like it's bones from them. Because I don't see any other creatures in here that would have bones this big. But yeah, they're kind of scattered everywhere right now. <laughs> there you go. There's a more complete one. So they have those. In any of the caves, that's really where you're going to find them. And then just some areas like this. Hopefully, and it doesn't look like they're going to do it. They're just not everywhere. Because that doesn't make a ton of sense. This is still the same, yeah. Um, but we'll see. And then over here... We don't have much changed just yet, but remember this is where the uh, frozen Leviathan is behind this wall. So we're just waiting for them to kind of get the tunnels back up. Because right now it just ends, right? Or they've kind of, I guess, closed it off at the moment. So. And then other than that, I have been informed that these apparently are the purple bulbs that they keep talking about. They haven't been implemented anywhere, um, but these are the purple bulbs themselves. And if I'm wrong and I've just been given misinformation, definitely let me know in the comment section. But the cool thing with these, if they'll do it right now, are they not going to now? There, very subtle. Do you see it moves? Kind of shifts back and forth. They're looking pretty cool, though. And then we got these guys. A bunch of these move, too. Which, don't know if these will be on the surface. These almost look more like they should be under water, but I don't know. We shall see. So that is it for this video. Not a, an insane amount of stuff that they've updated right now. There's stuff with the story that they've updated, but um, that was kind of the big ones for right now that uh, I've been able to see. I got a little bit more scavenging to do with this <clears throat> here in the next uh, couple days, but they've been on the ball with app updating a lot of stuff um, this past week. So hopefully they continue that process because we're supposed to get the release of the next early access. So anybody that's not in the experimental build next month in April sometime, they haven't given an official date, but sometime in April they're supposed to release the next early access and that would feature the new story because uh, that should be EA 9. So EA 8, they said uh, that would be the last time you would see the old story. So fingers crossed on that. And they still got all the cool animations of the ice worm <laughs> killing the snow stalkers there. But um, that is it for this video. The next video I'm going to do is actually going to have story stuff. That'll be a bunch of spoilers. So if you don't want to watch that one and you don't want to spoil anything with the story, I definitely definitely don't recommend watching that one, but uh, that is going to be it for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.